I'm Insomniac, and this is the Bomb and Mercier Clifton, model A10141. Okay, before I dive into this watch, two quick things. Number one, the specs on this watch are down in the video description. And number two, a big shout out to Steve for loaning this watch for review. Remember, I review whatever you want to see reviewed on the channel. So if you have any pieces you want to see me review here at Should I Time This, email me at shouldITimethis at gmail.com. I'll let you know where to send the watches. They'll be reviewed and short and sent back. Okay, let's get into it. The case on this watch is beautiful. It's elegant and carefully crafted without being too flashy or dressy. Everything from the machining to the finishes point to high quality and careful craftsmanship. The overall case shape is fairly common, but what really stands out besides the quality of the finishing is the area of separation between the sides and tops of the lugs. It's this wide, slightly exaggerated, flowing, polished section that gels really well with the case shape, yet adds a subtle yet clear degree of separation between the brush top and side sections of the case. Really nice. Case back is screwed down with four small screws, well polished with information about the watch cleanly engraved into it, and you have a large exhibition window to showcase the Swiss movement. Bezel is plain, but again, the brushed finish here is really well done. Now the crown is the one thing I'd have to say is the opposite of the rest of the case, because it's the one piece of this case that I'd say is function over form. It doesn't look bad, but there's nothing special or unique or really beautiful about it. What it is, though, is perfect for this watch. It's super slim, which puts it firmly against the case side, so it doesn't add any real width to the watch. And the diameter is small, so it doesn't dig into the wrist, but the grip on the outer edge of the crown is really well done, which makes winding and setting the watch a breeze. Overall, it's not the most unique case you'll ever find out there, but it's beautifully done. The dial on this piece is described on most retail sites as silver, but that depends on the lighting wherever you're standing. This dial has a muted silver gray thing going on that literally sometimes looks like a light tan, it's a lot more interesting than just silver is what I'm saying. The backdrop is clean and simple. At the outer edge of the dial you have a cleanly printed black minute track with tiny yet somehow legible numerals for every five minute interval. Below that you have an alternating applied marker set that switches between this wide number format Arabic numeral and these beautifully shaped markers. You have the brand name printed in the upper half and Swiss made all the way at the bottom. I like what they did with the date window here. First of all they placed it at 3 o'clock which doesn't throw off the balance of the dial at all. Yet they still added a partial index to the right of the date window. I like the attention to detail there. I also like the stepped border around the date window. Another tiny but careful detail. Then you have a small second subdial above the 6 o'clock position with a printed track that takes up the entire available area between the stem of the main hands and the top of the 6 numeral, cleanly printed to mark every 5 second interval with emphasis on the quarter minutes. The hands are all very basic, and the polished gold finish matches the finish of the numerals and indices perfectly. In addition to the high level of finishing here, the hand length is perfect, with the minute hand stretching all the way out to the outer edge of the minute track. The entire dial is elegant and beautiful without being pretentious or trying too hard, so there's a lot to appreciate. The only usable complication on this watch is the date, black numerals on a white disc. The size of that date window is adequate for an easy read, and I like the fact that the numerals take up the entire date window, which gives it a nice full look. So no complaints. The time to glance on this watch is fantastic. The dial is uncluttered, there's great contrast between the polished gold hands and black printed minute track against the silver gray backdrop. You have fine pointed tips on all three hands, and a minute hand that extends out over the minute track. So finding the time on this watch at a quick glance is a breeze. The bracelet on this watch is a long section, 5 link design alternating between brushed and polished links, with more emphasis on the brushed links at a rate of 3 to 2, which balances well with the ratio of brushed to polished finishing on the case. Nice detail. It has a good thickness to it and just enough weight to balance out the watch body without feeling heavy. The push button hidden clasp here not only works well and gives you the added benefit of the unbroken bracelet look underneath, but its super flat curve is perfect to the extent that you don't even feel the bottom of the bracelet, which means that hidden clasp doesn't dig into your wrist like some of the other ones I've reviewed on this channel. It holds well throughout the day and releases easily with the push of the side buttons. It looks great and it's well engineered. Last but not least, we have value. As of the time of this video, the MSRP on this watch is $3,200, but I saw it on one reputable retailer's site, on sale brand new, 
for $1,305. In my opinion, for $1,300, you're getting a lot of watch here. Great build quality, beautiful attention to detail, and a comfortable, easy watch to wear. Really, the only minor negative I could point out is that I wouldn't necessarily call this a dress watch. Let me know if you disagree down in the comments but it definitely leans in that direction. So although I found it easy to wear with almost anything, it's not exactly a jeans and a t-shirt watch. So if you're looking for that one and only watch to do it all to wear every day, maybe it's not for you. Otherwise, if you're looking for a Swiss made watch from a known brand that looks and feels high quality, well, I'd say it's actually a great value for that money. Anyway, another big shout out to Steve. Thank you very much for sending this in. Hit the like button to show Steve some love. He sends in a lot of the watches that you get to see reviewed on this channel. Again, if you have anything you want to see reviewed here, email me at shouldititimethis at gmail.com. Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all at the next one.